Clark under the gun a little bit earlier in the year from Coach Rich. He said, you know what, he's in the right spot, but not making the tackles. Boy, he's making his presence felt early on today. So the Lions start to their own 28. Two and out, first possession. Dickinson back to the air. Here comes Doug Brown. He's got him. Back at the 20. I talked to Doug Brown yesterday, and he was discussing the frustration of not getting to the quarterback as much this year. Well, didn't waste much time here. One sack all of this year. That may be number two. We see a flag is thrown on the far side of the field. Side, BC, number 81. Penalties declined. Well, G. Roy Second down. jump on the gun. But as you say, Doug Brown, I tell you what, him and his partner in crime, Denny Fortney, the two inside tackles, really outstanding job against Phillips and Calgary last week with seven combined tackles. Really, you can see why they're number one against the run. It is a dynamic combination inside. And it's second and a bunch. Dickinson steps up over the middle, and Simon well protected. And the ball knocked incomplete. Great break on the ball by Joel Morgan. Correction, make that Travis Ortega. Coming up, closing with the balls in the air and timing it perfectly. It almost looks like Dickinson can take off and run. A big lane, big opens up, and Wickman comes up. And you can see just coming through there. Knocking the ball loose. And G. Roy Simon's going to draw that bigger crowd all afternoon. Well, when you're the leading receiver in the league and you've had a game where you've caught 10 catches for 238 yards plus a two point convert the week prior, you better draw some attention. We believe that is Travis Ortega, the rookie linebacker who is still down. And it almost looked like, Chris, as we looked at the replay, that his own teammate kind of caught him. You see him kind of dig us in a little dump pass. And you can see the crunch coming. It's Maurice Kelly, number 24, who catches him in the rib cage. And you can actually see when he catches him and knocks the wind out of him. And that's what we're hoping right now that the only thing is the best case scenario just knocked the wind out of the rookie from Rice. And Ortega making his way off. They've just announced here in the stadium. Your induction into the Hall of Fame and uh, the folks in the section just below us giving Chris Walby a standing ovation. I didn't know he had that many family here. Oh, that's nice. Center. They're down and they're just head punting the ball away. And it seems like this wind isn't helping anybody right now as it swirls.